Welcome back to the channel everybody. Sorry there's been a bit of a delay in posting. I had some issues with my FSD where it wouldn't um, actually run for a while but uh, now I finally have 10.69.3.1. So I got out and did some testing the other day. So here we're trying to make a left turn across um, a two lane road with a median. So there was a fair amount of traffic here. You can see the creep line being shown and you can see the center median line being shown. Uh, I think the traffic clears right about now. I nudged it a tiny bit to get it to go here in front of that car on the left. And it very smoothly pulled out and went straight into that left turn lane. So that was um, pretty impressive there. In general, I've seen some nice smooth behavior with 10.69.3.1. Uh, for the most part, I haven't done a ton of testing, only about a day or two, so I'll show you some clips here in this video. And um, there are still some, some issues. Um, speed bumps, for example, are still an issue. Uh, small roads are still an issue. But often I've seen um, that versions will improve over time uh, within the version without even an update. So let's see how we do here. So the next part I wanted to test is this left turn. If you remember from a few videos back, there's a, a road where the previous version would not take a left turn. And it is a bit of a tricky uh, turn here. It's a tight left down a steep road. So I tried it again on this version to see what would happen. So you can see it trying to turn left into that road. It gets a little bit confused and there's a car coming. So I decided to, to take over. Um, but it definitely started to make that turn, which is much better than what the previous version was doing. So let's see if we go around another time, um, if it starts to learn. So this whole loop is actually quite interesting. Um, and I think I'll start to do this more often. Uh, there's a steep hill here with a few little speed bumps. Uh, in this version right now, speed control wasn't great down the hill and it also didn't pick up the speed bumps very well. But you can see that for testing this should be quite ideal. It has a, a steep unmarked road, uh, speed bumps, uh, multiple, you'll see coming up here, multiple four lane stops that it has to do, some left turns with not great visibility, Later at the top of the hill, there's a school zone, which it can't currently do yet. So, so this one little uh, loop here uh, is quite interesting. So here's a, a road that often has a lot of cyc cyclists and um, is, is quite tight and pretty poor visibility as well on this left turn here. Then we make a left turn up the hill and there's a four-way stop here to test that so it did properly uh, account for the car on the right there and then proceeded which isn't too unusual it's been doing that fairly well for some time this hill all the versions have had quite a few problems with in the early versions a few months ago they wouldn't even really go up this hill at all they would really stop every time a car came so so that's gotten a lot smoother uh, this version seemed to be a little bit smoother on this particular drive but then on later drives it was back to some of the same jerkiness and hesitance uh, that previous versions were doing this tight corner here was often a, a challenge uh, this particular drive, it actually did fairly well, and maybe that's because it had a lead car uh, in front of it there. So overall, like I said, 10.69.3.1, um, there do seem to be some improvements in smoothness and so on. I still have to test a few things like the roundabouts and coming up to uh, stopped cars on the highway I really wanted to check if those are smoother uh, because that's one of the things that was indicated here you can see a, a school zone to 30 uh, it does not pick that up still which is quite surprising to me um, 
The other thing I've noticed here on this version is that the reporting button is gone. There used to be a button you'd see me pushing quite a lot on the top right, uh, which would re report a clip to Tesla for supposedly having them look at it and fix it. That's disappeared, and I think that's because they're now doing a wider rollout of FSD, and they probably just don't need the volume of, of reporting that they used to in the early days, which is unfortunate because I think that is... Uh, valuable to report little glitches um, to Tesla. Here's a runner that it, it handled fairly well. So here we go, we're coming around the corner again, making that left. This time I decided to, to slow down the speed a little bit. So I brought it down to 20 kilometers an hour to see if it would make that left turn successfully this time because I could see it definitely was starting to do it. So you can see after this red, orange, the barrier here, it's making the turn. It's a little bit hesitant, checking slowly, and it heads down the hill. So that's the first time any FSD version has actually been able to make that turn. So there we have a bit of testing. Thanks for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I'll have a lot more video coming up in the next uh, few days and weeks here on this version as we test it out. Um, and uh, please let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to test. And have a great day. Thanks. Bye.